so this is apparently his little secret study, I guess, if nothing else. Oh, well, yeah, we'll come back to that. Um, Gothic Cathedral, very, uh, very ominous and very grim-looking picture. Uh, some kind of mask from... Uh, well, I don't know. I don't. I don't even think it says in the description. Yeah, it's just some mask from some foreign country. Um, yeah, a, a build a, a jungle shrouded building in Cambodia or Thailand. Um, a giant city. A pretty sweet sword just hanging on the wall, which we can pick up actually. And uh, and if we so desire, we could go and equip it, and then I guess test it out. Yeah. We're not going to be seeing any any combat for uh, well, I guess I won't spoil it. But uh, but no, there's there's not a whole lot. Combat is actually isn't exactly a big focus in this game. Um, this is a stack of human bodies, uh, which is pretty messed up. And and yeah, with with each one cemented into place, so it's like a tower of cemented dead bodies. But it's apparently a very detailed drawing. Uh, some candles, unlit candles, that is. And then this guy. This thing sitting right in the corner, or right in the center. I had no knowledge of what was to come, nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand, or you will perish. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality. To see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. Where is Quies Candamest? Where is Conservandai? Facusatis aquae sumat, et animus eorum conferna. Pupna huis, dia sit modo prima multarum, si ingeptum conficiamus. Quam primum centurio Augustus. I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies did not have a chance. Do you believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs, or his orders. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient. And thus begins our first little mini adventure here, um, and this is going to be the recurring theme: is that uh, that Alex will will read more of the Etern of the Tome of Eternal Darkness, and then we get control of these characters from the past. Um, uh, so all we have is just the Gladius, which curiously enough is the same sword that we that Alex has right now. I wonder if it's the same blade, like the very same blade, though it's thousands of years old by now. So uh, looks like we only have one pa one way to go, and that's down. Um, yeah. Danger lurks beneath, yet Pius's courage resolve. Courage, courageous resolve does not buckle. Good man. 
And, uh, though there's definitely, like, a war being waged between, uh... Oh, that's nice. Just some, uh... Just some, uh, some carcass just sitting there. Though it looks suspiciously a lot like the ones that Alex was fighting in her dream. Ah. And sure enough. Let's kick his ass. It's just one, so I think we can manage. Oh, there are three of them. But they're very slow and they, they can hit each other, actually. That's interesting. You can you can just you can just dismember them one by one. Um, like I cut off this guy's head, and I'm gonna cut off his, his left arm, or I'm sorry, his right arm now and his left. Um, but when they're on the ground like this, you can finish them off. And that does them in for good. If you just leave them alone, they'll die on their own. But it's more satisfying actually to do them in yourself. And then boom, it's done. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, there's definitely a war being waged between Pius Augustus's group, whatever, whatever, uh, I, I guess Rome, if I had to assume. Um, but also, as he had mentioned that his emperor has having them look for an artifact, and that's something we'll have to keep in mind. It's a granite block with a, with, uh, one of the insignias from, uh, well, we'll, we'll see plenty more of that, but, um, just know that that insignia play, is, uh, plays a, a big role with all this stuff. Like I said, I don't want to give away too much, but, uh, there are going to be some recurring themes here. Boom. And the zombies are all pretty weak, and I mentioned earlier that combat really isn't a very big part of this game. Um, partly because the zombies and whatnot, even even very late in the game, the really big monsters that we have to defeat, that we have to fight, really aren't too bad if you know what you're doing. Um, so it's it's definitely not a an action oriented game. I mean, it's action adventure uh, mystery. I mean, if you fight it, fight it, call it a genre, survival horror, but it's it's really not a uh, it's not Resident Evil 4 by any stretch of the imagination. If uh, if you're if you're wanting to play Eternal Darkness, you're you're looking for some some creative. Well, I I <laughs> I, I really shouldn't say too much, so I'll I'll just I'll just keep to myself and and I'll let you see how it goes. Another one of these things with another similar but different. Oh, is they're calling our names, calling our name. Yeah, another granite block, uh, similar to the one that we found in the... Wait, did I actually... Yeah, I picked it up. Okay, yeah. And like I said, they, they all have different, different insignias, but they uh, they all do play a role. Um, okay, so it looks like the only way to go is down. Fighting all these zombies along the way, but uh, really not too bad. They're all really slow, and they're all very emaciated. I mean, there's, there's, no, there's no muscle. It's just... They're all very skinny and sad looking, so these guys are no match. Apparently this is the way out, but uh, the door's locked. Well, it's, you know, it's barred shut by an Ocarina of Time-esque sort of uh, uh, barring of the door. Aha! Well, Gio, I wonder where I'm, what I'm supposed to do with the, uh, the empty slots next to all of the, uh, all of those things on the wall. These guys are nothing. These guys are nothing. Look at that. Get out of here. Though uh, one thing I always like to do is to uh, cut off both their arms. That's a weird sentence. Uh, it's not. That's not a sentence I get to say very often, but it's no less true. Where if you cut off both their arms and leave their heads, they'll, they can still see you, so they'll they'll try to follow you, but they don't have anything to attack you with. So they'll just kind of just kind of hump at you, I guess. Um, if you cut off their heads and leave their arms attached, they can't see you, but they can still move around, so they'll just kind of attack. They'll swat at the air trying to find something, but they can hit each other, so it's it's uh, it, it really devolves into, into just nonsense after a while. So here's the fourth granite block. Um, and, w like I said earlier, gee, I wonder what these are supposed to do. A square hole lined with scratches, as though something had been removed from it. Oh, game, you and your tough puzzles, it's so smart. Um... There are definitely a lot of little mini puzzles like this in the game, and very few of them are really that challenging. Um, I don't think I've like even the first time I played this, I don't think I ever had to consult a walkthrough or anything. So it's um, if if you're looking for like uh, for for some mist style, uh, really really involving puzzles or you know things where you have to have a, a pen and paper just to be just to uh, just to get through a level, it's it's really not that bad. 
we're uh, we're gonna really see the nitty gritty, and uh, not not in this little mini episode, but uh, okay, well, I I, I keep <laughs> I keep getting ahead of myself. I don't think there's really much else in this room. So so I did unlock the door. We can progress further. All right. So what was so fancy about this place? That a you must prove your worth by destroying the statue, and it sh it shows us how to attack different pieces and whatnot. Is that a is that a statue of Pius? I can't I'm trying to see. I, I think it's probably just a generic soldier, but uh, I'm sure the resemblance there is not a coincidence. Take off all the pieces. The door is gone, which is nice. Wish that's how it worked in real life. I wanna, I wanna unlock this door. And there's this person just sitting here, so I, you know, beat the crap out of them, and then the door opens, and nobody calls the cops. Everybody wins. Uh, and yeah, you can see what I mean. They just cut off their heads, and oh, well, they'll, they'll just kind of stand there. I mean, you know, smack at each other. So. I don't know. No one ever said zombies had to be smart. Very ominous looking glowing button. Yeah, just a button. Just a really large button. Should I press the button? You bet your sweet ass I'm gonna press that button. Oh shit. Alright, well, it looks more like a pool of lava than anything else, but let's just walk into it and see what happens. Well, apparently, uh, teleporters existed back then. Alright, well, all this cloudy, smoky stuff. Saw this now. Pedestal bears no artifact. Whether one was ever there or not, Pius cannot tell. And that's actually interesting. I'd, I'd forgotten this, but um, I, you saw that I had already played a file of this previously. Well, the, the one I had picked was uh, was when I, in that playthrough, I had picked this, um, this artifact. Um, and now since I picked it, then it won't let me pick it again. Um, effigy or resembling a warped angel pretty awesome. And then this guy its a red clawed worm. Um, and this is this is kind of the turning point where you can decide one of three options. Um, the main storyline is going to stay the same, but it will make changes to how the story unfolds. I mean, it's still the same game no matter which one you pick, but it will make a difference. So for this playthrough, I'm going to go with this mysterious red clawed artifact. have passed since then, and I have learned much. Chaturga's power filled me, invigorating my dead body. With a touch, I could level buildings, rend the ground asunder, and channel power such as mortal men could only dream. Face me, and you shall surely perish. All right. Well, um, and there's that's like I said. That's that's the first of many little. I guess well, they're they're divided up into chapters. Chapters in the book. Um, and yeah, that's just just a really dusty old desk. And if we try to check the book, um, well, it doesn't say. But uh, but that that was all that was in there. But there are pages missing. Um, so the whole point is that now we have to find the pages of the the Tome of Eternal Darkness in order to read further. And. To watch the story unfold further. So, uh, we saw this guy hanging on the wall, and sure enough, it's a chapter page. Uh, the Binding of the Corpse God. That's that sounds like a pretty happy reading. Name of a kid's book, I'm sure. Um, so now to advance the story further, we read this chapter, and it gets added to the Tome of, of Eternal Darkness. Um, and this is how I'm going to organize this Let's Play, where um, I'll 
I'll st at the start I'll go through the chapter and then once the chapter ends I'll find the next chapter page and end it there so we now have the chapter page for chapter 2 and that's the end of this video so thank you of course for watching um, but there's plenty more to be had there's a lot of unanswered questions that uh, that we've seen hinted at so far but uh, more will be revealed don't you worry and we'll like I said we'll really get into the nitty gritty um, I guess starting next video so uh, look forward to it guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time